going on everybody man mike is back with another video back here to officially talk about the journal app for iphone yes this came in 17.2 we definitely thought it was going to come later for sure because apple did say later on it didn't say at the drop of ios 17 but nonetheless it is finally here two updates into the ios 17 life cycle and look at that pretty app right there so what we're going to talk about in this video is really how to use the app, how to f the, the settings for the app, and why I think this app definitely needs to come to that iPad right there. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you notice my videos so that we can sit back to see what's cracking. And also let me down, down in the comment section below if you guys were excited that the journal app is here. Do you think it should also come to the iPads or to a larger screen format? The comment section is open for discussion. But now, let's start the video. And by doing so, we're going to first click in to the app. And here are some things that, of course, I've written. And it's pretty pretty interesting how it keeps the log right there. And if you notice, some of those have like little titles such as that. Well, that is because you can actually be recommended to journal about something if you don't know what to journal about some for some of us this is like our first time really kind of sort of journaling you know jotting our thoughts down what we've been doing and all that so they give you suggestions and how you go about that is by starting a new entry give you pictures you've taken it's going to give you everything that you've done in the course of if not the previous day that day now of course i have recommended you can also do recents which also kind of narrows it down a little bit more in terms of the music the podcast and all that that you listen to and it's really going to work well with apple based apps now in order to get these recommendations and and you know more like recent recommendations as well what you're going to have to do is swipe back out of the app and then go into settings once you reach settings you're going to scroll down to you find a journal app and it's right here down at the bottom once you click on journal app this is what you're going to want to give it access to if you want it to give it to be given suggestions so you have location, you have photos, you have camera, you have your media and Apple Music, Siri and search, uh, background app refresh, probably needs to be on so that way it has on-hand information much faster. Now, I don't skip journaling suggestions, but if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and turn that on. And then it, even though I have this kind of stuff, it will just give you a clean new entry. And then you can also lock your journal by means of a passcode or face ID slash touch ID, I believe. And then you can also turn on a schedule. You can have it reoccur when you want to, whether it's a daily basis, every other day, every few days, once a week, at the same time, you can create yourself a habit of journaling on a regular basis. And then of course, whatever pictures you take within the journal app, you can also have it saved to photos. So very, very unique right now. It also feels like it's in its infancy in terms of some of these uh, capabilities right now or the lack of capabilities and it's going to be interesting to, see, interesting to see how far this app really grows over time now let's say that you don't really quite want to write about any of that maybe you just had a very low-key chill day but down here at the bottom you'll see you have reflection and reflection gives you an idea to write about so in the case here you see this kind of ooh, pinkish one or midnight color one Write about a time you found an unexpected solution to a hard problem. Or, what's something you've learned and enjoyed recently? How could you do it more often? So, right then and there, it gives you a couple reflection points if you don't quite know what you want to talk about. Now, if we go on to recents, it's going to take you as far back as when, almost essentially when the app officially released, you could say, but or the uh, software update released, but... Other than that, that's what you get. Now, let's say you just want to do new entry. Or right here within new entry, it gives you the date up at the top, but that is changeable. Just simply click the little settings button uh, right there, the icon. And you can do the entry date, which would be today, or even the custom date. And custom date, you can change it to go forwards or backwards in time. So, pretty interesting, the, 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 the control at which you have to journal. Let's say maybe something was on your mind a few days ago that you wanted to journal about and you forgot to, you can just go in and just say you want to mark it for that day and maybe keep it as some form of a memory for yourself to log, you know, for it, for your life. You can do that. You can do that with this app. And then maybe there's a future event coming. Maybe you want to journal 
highlighting something happening in the future and then you want to come back and then <laughs> come back in the present once the future becomes present you can actually go to that journal entry and finish journaling about that experience you were anticipating so very very unique and interesting way you can utilize this journal app i typically try to journal if not daily within a two-day span so for me i will let's say i forgot the journal you know yesterday i'll just click back up here change it to wednesday and once i change it to wednesday i will then add all the stuff from wednesday and then journal if i wanted to so far for me as you guys probably saw with some of my entries if we swipe back out of this you know i've only i've used the reflection a few times uh, especially early to get started after the first one i had a, i had a few that i had to i had to <laughs> had to think about and then if you click this icon here, you can actually organize or filter your journal entries by means of activities that you've done. So another, you know, on hand feature for you. So let's say that we go back in here, new entry. Now, let's say you wanted to start off new entry and, and you ended up going blank or as you started uh, uh, journaling, some ideas came to mind. Well, you can hit this button right here and it will bring up those suggestions down here at the bottom. So you got your memories, uh, memories. You got your your recent activities, as well as your reflection recommendations and your recents, all right here at the tap of a button. And then let's say you want to add some photos. You click on that icon, and then all your recent stuff will pop up that you can add to your entry right on hand. You can add from photos and albums. You can also search within your photos app for additional content. Now let's say. You, there was something you wanted to take a picture of. Maybe you want to journal about some food. You are currently eating some food and you decide, you know what? I need to add this picture of the food I'm eating because it is on my mind right this second. Click that camera button right there and you will be able to take pictures of stuff right on hand using any of the Zoom capabilities and or video, once you allow it, video and and enter it right into your journal. Beautiful. And then if you want maybe a voice memo, maybe you want to voice memo your journal instead. I have not actually tried that, but I might try that. Well, you click on this icon and then you tap the record and then you can record your journal entry as opposed to writing it down. You have your location button right there as well if you want to add your current location. So again, very, very neat features that are not necessarily basic, but really all that you really need for your journaling experience. And that's where I, oh, A, really appreciate the journal app. I think it's actually a really good feature and why not try it? I've been getting a little bit, a little bit more into that and it's really because of the journaling app. But this is where I think the journal app would come way more in handy for the iPad. On a bigger screen like this, I think the journal app makes way more sense because let's say you have a lot that you're typing, you probably don't want to stay cr uh, crippled fingers on your iPhone. You probably want to journal way more often on the tablet because you may have a lot to type about. You may have a lot to want that you want to express. So I think having it on an iPad would make sense. And of course, you would probably utilize the keyboard function to do that. Now, I understand why it's on the phone as well because it's not as easy to type on the iPad as it is right there at your fingers on the iPhone, but imagine having a lot to journal about and you just typing away on here. Yeah. Please bring it to the iPad because I think it's gonna make a big deal with the iPads. So for me, I think the journal is a great app. And of course I hope, I can't wait to see what it turns into overall. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in using the journal app, have you been using it? Have you been using the reflection points? What has interested you or not interested you about the journal app? And do you would you like to see it come to the iPads? The comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that way you notice my videos. So that way you sit back, like, subscribe. It's your man Mike signing out. And until the next video. Wait for it.